Hello, everybody. Um, if you're watching this, it's kind of obvious that uh, the voice audio isn't exactly coming from what I'm saying in the bottom left. Uh, I had a bit of an issue with these two episodes in particular, <clears throat> where I started recording this separate from the first episode this week. And, uh, well, I had a bit of an audio issue to where it, uh, at OBS, I had my mic default got changed. So I basically spent 40 minutes of playing the show night. Well, that, like I said things, but it, nothing was being picked up, nothing was being recorded. So I had to do a post audio. So this is going to be me talking about what's happening in the game, what I was thinking, what I was doing, and yeah. So hopefully you all enjoy it. It's going to be a bit weird, it's going to be a bit different, but I didn't really want to, I can't really go back and redo the save. So I just kind of wanted to, you know, just try this out. I've seen people do it before, you need to do this. Not exactly the favorite thing to do, but it happens. Um, but just now at the beginning there, uh, the reason it took me so long to get to the village is because I was explaining how uh, before I started edit or doing this video, I had to stop for a second because uh, my glasses, uh, the left and right sides that are closest towards the lenses and stuff, the metal parts, the frame, are actually broken, so I have to keep them uh, up with duct tape. And I usually use black duct tape. And that, that actually kind of came apart while recording, so I had to stop and fix that. And the only duct tape I had now is green duct tape, for whatever reason. So if I look left and right, um, there's actually a bit of green on my glasses, and of course, since I'm using a green screen, uh, you can actually kind of see through it into the game. So don't be alarmed by that. It's just what happens. And yeah. Oh yeah, right there I freak out because I didn't had no idea that the cypher coins were there and I just I accidentally pressed X because I meant to talk to uh, Ulan and I was still kinda of resting on the controls. Yeah. This song though is kind of a bop. You can see me jamming on the bottom left, it's, uh, it's kinda of nice. Uh, I actually I remember when I was playing through it I talked about how it sounded just like like an old school RPG boss fight, like something you see in Final Fantasy or something else. Um, yeah. Oh, see, he's done with the point. And we had it on our way. Or, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I don't remember now. Yeah, we'll do it. No, we should go straight to Propeller Knight. Oh, wait, no, Travel. Oh, that's right. Oh, this is the best part. Okay. So, I'm thinking, okay, I don't want to go into another level because I have a lot of money still. Like, I just have like 1900. I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to spend it on stuff. So, I buy all the outfits. And, dude. One, I love how it it just spits on Plague Knight instead of the Icor or Icor Chalice, as they like to call it. You can see I almost fall off the ledge there when I'm actually getting the uh, outfit. And I only got stopped because I talked to the Travel King. And I'm about to put on the uh, the, the robe that makes it really hard to stop. And I'll see what happens in a second. Also, that robe looks sick. Put red and black, count six by two night. And into the water. I was sitting there for a second, like, waiting. Because it let, it let me talk to him. So I was wondering if it was going to let me keep going. Nope. He doesn't want me in the water. He says we're filthy, so... Now this is this is the best part, 100. percent This is this is where things get crazy. I put on the use of armor. At least that's what I thought it was. Boom. I look at this frolic. Look at that glorious jump. And the the spark trail, or the like glitter trail. On the fabulous jump, it's everything. I'm talking about it, I'm freaking out over it because I love it. I love the jump, it looks great. And then I, ha I had to go, I had to remember, I was like, there's no way that's how the jump usually is. I like, that's, that's not how it looks. So I went back to the regular, and this is where it at me, I'm like, yeah, it's new. So, the the gold armor isn't actually useless, it actually changes animations, which is really, really cool. I like the little glitter trail. My favorite part, though, was whenever you turn around. I don't know if I get to show it here, if I show it in the video, or in the next level, but... Yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait until... Okay, yeah, you'll see it whenever we go to Propeller Knight. <laughs> my favorite part about the armor.
Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do my best to like, remember everything that happened and talk about what happened. Because, I mean, if anything, it might be a little bit better. Because there are times in the level to where I'm not saying stuff, because I'm trying to focus on playing. Oh yeah, look at he just did it, like a little trail. You do a little twirl, like a five his little turn. Every time you go back and forth. Yeah, it was wonderful. Oh, I love it. Is that see my favorite armor now? And considering uh, I don't really have to worry about treasure anymore, so there's just nothing to buy. Uh, I'm just gonna keep using that for the rest of the uh, tether. I even recall mentioning how I need, I need to go back to Jumble Knight to buy the other gold one to see if it has chain animations and like a spark to try and stuff. Actually, funny enough, I just sort of, like, comment to the music. That's exactly what happens in this situation. Uh, a lot of the time, when I get sent back to the checkpoint, which, spoiler alert, I, I get sent back to that checkpoint multiple times. Um, I'll just end up humming music again. The, the, the song of this level is actually pretty sweet. I like it a lot. I definitely enjoy listening to it throughout playing. These guys are so annoying to fight, dude. Because, like, the little green balls, they always track you, and if you don't, like, move left or right after they break, like, fast enough, you just always get hit, and it's really annoying. And considering you have to come at them, it's like, it's, it's hard. Yeah, I got, I got pushed off so many times. I, that guy is super annoying. What I should have done was went down, uh, down below, and then used to like the squids that just kind of sit there to heal up because they're, they're just easy to kill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, hindsight, you know, I absolutely didn't think about that at all when I was actually playing it. But now that I'm watching myself like do stuff, it's kind of easy to see all the mistakes I make. Oh yeah, this is where I figured out that there's that room to the left that I didn't realize. See? Right here, I was kind of worried, because like the... The class fell off the fan, I didn't know how to be able to get it. But luckily I was able to like go to the left far enough before I went up high enough. Got it. Oh, look at that little twirl, I love it! <laughs> it looks so cool! And that's basically just what I said. Oh, uh, at this point in the level, uh, I, I was talking about how I was still doing so all the side areas, even though I don't really need money. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure I have everything to buy in the game right now. Unless there's something you can buy with the, all the Sacra Coins. So, uh, I, I mean, I was fucking, I just, I mentioned how I'm still gonna explore everything, I'm still gonna play all the level, because, I mean, that's just the game. If I stop going for money just because it's not useful anymore, then I'm not really experiencing the game how it was meant to be played. So, I have a game that takes that long, so, I'm not really worried about wasting time. I like it. when I decide, screw it, I'm not going all the way around the left side anymore, I'm just going to jump straight to the middle and kill him, which is the, my best idea at the point. Oh. This is when I, uh, I try to use this little beetle to gain health, and I accidentally put on the wrong vial. Uh, for whatever reason, throughout this recording, this last like 20 or 40, this episode and the next episode, 
there are at least four or five times where I'll go to the menu, like to my, my left bumper, right bumper, when I'm like selecting the bombs and pieces or like my powers, and I'd go to select something, and I'd stop on, um, I'd stop on an item that I thought I was selecting, and then when I went out of the menu, it swapped over to the one right next to it. I could just skip the selection every time, and it gets so annoying, but I mean, we made it through. watching right now to actually talk to you guys. It's lagging a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't mess up the timing at all in the actual video. It shouldn't, okay, hopefully not. Yeah, this guy over here, this little, like, propeller knight dude, uh, it took me a couple tries to actually beat him. Like, directly. He is a bit of a pain. I believe every time I hit you after, when I beat him, I just decided to jump over him. It did end up with me dying a cut maybe once or twice? I don't even remember. Setting up my bombs and stuff. I'm crazy here, just do the level, cannonballs. I remember we talking about how I wasn't worried about the cannonballs at all, just because of like how much I can move in the air. And then this happens with this guy, okay. My little green dude is super annoying, but clearly I don't die to him, I die to this bike. You'll see what you can do. next time I come back though. Uh, well, yeah, that happens. I kind of forgot about that myself, but you know how it is. At this point, I'm reassuring myself I don't need money. It doesn't matter that I lost money because I don't need it. And see, I just pass him up. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I do actually go back to the first checkpoint <laughs> kind of a lot. Uh, or even just the first part of the level. Whenever I was editing this, or when, well, whenever I was trying to decide on the name for this video, uh, I was actually debating trying to, or naming it Forever Checkpoint 2, just because of how long I have stayed at one checkpoint. Here, I'm getting absolutely memed on by this stupid green air dude. He just keeps pushing me back and forth onto the spikes, and if I wasn't getting hit by the cannonballs, I would have died immediately. And so this time I finally get the idea, just use the smoke bomb because I'm invincible on the spikes, and the cannonballs, and I can make it through. But, it didn't work at all. It didn't work one bit. I get sent onto the spikes, and then my invincibility went out instantly, so, I died. And this time, I'm thinking to myself, I gotta kill that green dude. He's gonna be... He's gonna be by me again. Although I'm not really saying much right now in the video because I'm just trying to like focus. Yeah, see, you see, I get the bomb set up because I'm like, okay, I have to, I have to break this guy. But I end up deciding not to. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's what happens. Okay, yeah, he he gets sent back by me attacking him once, so he's just not close enough to mess with me. And I make it to the other checkpoint. So clearly we see the Zephyr point in the wall, up left, and this is me, um, I'm thinking that this is probably going to be where I get my relic, or my new power, and right there I broke the, the, uh, the rock right there in front of the spikes, and I'm just like, why the heck did I do that? Um, it, it's just going to push me into the spikes, why, why did I do that? And of course, so, I, I, after I'm thinking this, of course I'm gonna do it again, immediately, because it's pretty simple, stupid, but yeah. I used the uh, smoke bomb correctly this time, and I'm very proud of myself. I'm 
Luckily that level is very short, so I don't have to worry about it messing up too many times. And here comes old green guy again. I immediately dispatch him with ceaseless intent. And here we go again. At this point, I'm getting really tired of those guys. Also, all the way throughout this level, I was calling the bat, like the purple thing that pops up for our platform, the, uh, the vile, and so I had to check and make sure that's the right name, and it wasn't, so I was like, oh, it's the bat name. And at this point, we got the propeller blade, and we're like, heck yeah, we'll get a new power soon. And I'm like, yeah, it's trash! Because we can't use it as Python, so... Of course, I was very happy to, to get a new power. But first we have to go find Chester with the blue chest to actually get the power. Now to go to the village. And these guys right here are pretty big. I mean, obviously, it's just a mini boss. Like, if I could beat bosses in two seconds, I could beat a mini boss in two seconds. Oh yeah, I completely forgot what the remote fuse did, and I was like, what is the blue one? And then I remembered it, and I was like, I don't want this, this sucks. Because it kind of does suck, I never use it, it's just kind of pointless. Except for very, very niche moments. And of course I lied, by the way. Uh, they beat me, because I, I just got stunned too many times, because I didn't realize the mechanic was to jump before it slammed down. Like, you know, the other million bosses in video games that do a slam where you're supposed to jump, so they don't hurt you. But, right here, I remember there's a hole here and I just fall right through. There's no point in going back. This time, I won't lie to you, I do absolutely obliterate these guys because I realize their one move is to uh, just slam down and all I have to do is jump, which is the thing that Plate Knight does best. I also use them for health because screw them. They killed me mercilessly to begin with, I will do the same. And there they die in two seconds because I realized how to fight them. And then we dash on out like the freaking bosses we are. And of course, because there's almost always healing, I slam, I hit the wall just to see if there's any way to heal, and there was. Even though I was already next up, it didn't matter. And that guy shows up, and I was unhappy. I was like, very all the right. I didn't like it. Like I said, still going for all the treasure, still trying to find all the secret stuff, and this is how you play the game. Uh, this part I like the most because I'm just like, those guys don't matter, I don't have to kill it, I fight them, I don't have to use them, I can just jump. Because, you know, fight an OP. This guy, same old story from the beginning, I hate him, he sucks. And we fall that down. I even step on that platform to say I'm an OG, I don't have to use platforms, although I just use the platform, and I get over there. I completely forgot about that freaking passageway up top, too. At this point, I was thinking to myself, okay, if the... Uh, if the music sheet has a red note, does that mean it's music? Or if it has a black note, is that music? Or if they even show up differently in the level? I couldn't remember, but I did talk about it. And again, the music of this level is really nice. I really enjoyed it. I... Sometimes I don't sit and listen to it, or at least I don't think about it. It's really just playing. 
but at this level in particular, there was a lot of times where I had to kind of concentrate. So I, I kind of just toned out and listened to music. Oh yeah, right here. Uh, I fell, tried to use a vat, messed up with the with the uh, the life juice or whatever. Swapped over to the vat, I actually got it off, but then got hit by a cannonball, so I died. As things go, I almost I almost pulled it out though. I was really proud. Of, I was like, I almost did it. And uh, kind of the same thing happened, except for the second time, I didn't try to jump right. I was like, okay, screw it. I'm just going back to the platform. I don't know, wait for my power to come back. Actually, no, I was just waiting on the cannonballs. I should have waited for my power to come back. But you never see my back.